सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एंड आई एम बैक विद अनदर प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इन रिएक्ट जावास्क्रिप्ट सो हियर कैन सी वी हैव अ प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इन विच वी हैव टू क्रिएट अ रिएक्ट कंपोनेंट दैट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू ड्रॉप डाउन्स एंड द ऑप्शन इन द सेकंड ड्रॉप डाउन इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन द सेलेक्शन मेड इन द फर्स्ट ड्रॉप डाउन एंड द इनिशियल स्टेट शुड हैव द सेकंड ड्रॉप डाउन डिजेबल्ड एंड इट शुड ओनली बिकम अनेबल वंस अ सेलेक्शन इज मेड इन द फर्स्ट ड्रॉप डाउन सो वी हैव टू क्रिएट अ डिपेंडेंट ड्रॉप डाउन सो इफ यू न्यू टू माई चैनल मेक्स योर डेट लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल सो डेट You don't need to watch some videos. So let's get started. First of all, I will create React Arrow Console component and export, and then I will import use state from React. Then I will create some states. First one is the categories, and it is going to be a blank string. After that, it will be sub category. Again, it is going to be a blank string. Then we will create one boolean state, which is is sub category unable. In the final state, set is sub category unable, and initially it will be false. After that, I will create one categories array. and inside i will pass fruits okay so we have this i will change this name to category vegetables and then dairy then we create cons of categories which consist of object first one is the fruits which will be array then we have the vegetables and then dairy so after that let's modify the jsx part inside we will write select category we will pass html for category then we will create one select tag inside we will pass one id and we will pass category then we will pass one on change event and it will be a callback function and inside we will call one function which is handle category change and we will pass e dot target dot value after that we will pass our value and inside we will pass this category state now inside select we will pass our option which will be select and its value will be a blank string after that we will pass our category and we will map that items so we will write item and inside i will create one option and inside i will pass this item so we have to pass the key also And inside value i will pass the item so we have this option after that after this select we will put a line break then we will copy this whole thing paste it down and here instead of select category we will write sub category same for the id also copy this pass it here and in the on change we will update the set sub category value will be sub category and we will pass one disable attribute and inside we will pass is sub category enabled then in the mapping part we will check if the is sub category is enabled then only we will show this we will change this name to sub categories and inside we will pass the category dot map we will change this item to sub item so now let's define this function we will write const handle category change we will accept the argument which is selected category arrow function of javascript here 
we will update our set categories to selected category then set sub category to blank string and the boolean value set is sub category enable to true so we have to make one correction we have to pass value as categories not categories so after saving this file just navigate to the chrome browser and uh, we will write challenge for two so you can see here we have the select category and select sub category currently the select sub category disabled so it is dependent on the selection made in the category part so let's suppose if i select fruits then only the sub category will get enabled and i can select easily the apple or banana we have so that is something we have implemented our challenge and uh, we have this logic so you can also try adding some more css and try to make this part attractive okay try to play with this logic and try to add some more selection inputs so if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and uh, if you have any doubt regarding this so let me know in the comment section until then thank you for watching